Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm quite excited about this because it is going to be a what I eat in a day, but free from all the major allergens. I'm not free from all these allergens myself. I wanted to do it just to show that you can be vegan, even if you have quite a few allergies. And I doubt that any of you have all these allergies. We're just gonna try and be very free from today. Free from everything almost. So this is my list of allergens, which I found on the FDA website. So I'm gonna be avoiding milk, eggs, fish, crustaceans, shellfish. And then the next four are tree nuts. So almonds, walnuts, pecans, peanuts. So I'm gonna be avoiding all nuts today. Wheat and then soybeans. So no tofu or like tempeh, soy milk. No almond milk. Oh wow, I just forgot that. <laughs> no almond milk. Okay, right, it's fine. We're gonna do it. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be okay. So. Let's have some breakfast because I have a lecture at nine. I normally say that I drink about two liters a day. I probably drink a bit more than that, but I think two liters is a good amount to aim for. So yeah, I've had already like two mason jars full. I just drink loads of water in the morning. I love water so much. So I'm gonna be making a smoothie this morning with spinach, frozen mango, pineapple, and banana in my Bravo Blend Active as usual and then I've got one of these bananas to go in the smoothie and then oh wow This is my last banana. That's not good. I might put this one on top one Non-frozen banana in you go I'll put about two frozen bananas in frozen mango a bit of frozen pineapple. Can you see me? No, you can't even see me this sun like hello Spinach now. Oh my gosh, she's like blinding me. <laughs> this is very full right now. Let me see what else I can have in this fridge. We want coconut water. This fridge actually smells really strong right now. So yesterday I did meal prep for today because I have dance really late. So this will be part of my dinner later, which I'll show you. But yeah, it's really strong. It's got like onion, garlic in and loads of spices. So my whole fridge stinks right now, but that's okay. So a bit of coconut water. And then most of it will be water going in. And then we're going to blend it. We need a lot more water. Looks like it's going to be perfect for a smoothie bowl. So that is what I'm going to make in my coconut bowl. Discount code Holly10. Always in the description. Ready? Oh yes. Look at that. I'll just shove on my last banana, which is really sad. Do do. So we're gonna have rice things, hemp seeds, chia seeds, and blueberries. Dun, 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 dun. This is my smoothie bowl here, if you can see without the light being too annoying. Let's take it over to my desk so you can see it better. I'm actually really happy with that. Let's just like mix it all in so we can get a bit of everything when we eat it. Mm, that is good, but it's not good. It's 8.30. And I have a 9 a.m. So I need to get a move on. I'm just gonna have some coconut water because I don't have time to have hot lemon right now. I'm gonna quickly make a to-do list. So I have this old one and I need to update it. Right. Ah, oh, it's really cold today. I forgot to close my window the whole night. So my room is really cold when I woke up and I was like, why is it so cold? And then I realized because I'd left my window open all night. This helmet is not gonna fit on with this very tall bun today. It's gonna get squashed. Oh, hello. That's wonky. There is my bike. You're coming with me. So I've just had my first lecture of the day. My plan for the rest of the day is kind of busy. I've got a supervision today at three till four. I'm gonna then stay in the department because I have a lecture an hour later at five till six. And then I have dance at eight till 9.30. Hence why I mentioned this morning that I had done some meal prep yesterday. I kind of need to be a bit more on it with making food on these days. So my to-do list, I've got lots of emails that I need to send. So I'm just gonna send them all now, power through doing some emails for like 15 minutes and then I'm gonna get on to doing work that I need to get on with because there's never not any work to do. This package has been sitting on this chair for a while now. So I need to actually open it. This is something that's apparently coming very soon to store. Amazon I've been told called life and it's natural spring water but it is the UK's first zero plastic 
BPA free canned water. So these things, oh my gosh, they're so cool. Oh my gosh, look, my mission to be the first vegan vlogger to support the UK's first zero plastic spring water solution. This is so cool. Look how good that looks, all those ticks. They are best served chilled, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shove this in the fridge. When I get back from dance, I will open my can, my can of water. <laughs> A hot lemon. I'm just gonna carry this back to my room without spilling it and burning myself. I spilled it and it's now like dripping onto my tray. Somehow I kind of knew that was gonna happen. Filled it a bit too full. I've just um, cut myself up a pear and then I've just peeled one of these oranges. I might have another one. I'm also gonna have D3, vitamin D3, which is a vegan version of D3 and vitamin B12. Lunchtime today, we're gonna be making wraps. Be free, they're called. Wheat and gluten free vegan wraps. And I have tried them yesterday and the day before because I realized they were going out of date. I've never tasted anything that's so good in a wrap. They're gluten free as well. I was like, wow, they're sweet potato. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put all of these ingredients in the wraps, but I've just got stuff out that I kind of want. So cucumber, gonna put some flaxseed in, I think. Tomato puree to like, you know, coat the wrap that's the best thing i could find celery baby spinach a pepper some cannellini beans mushrooms which i need to eat because look at them Everything is not going to fit in these wraps. I have two here. Put my beans. And then I'm also going to put some gherkins in. I honestly love gherkins. I'm such a pickle fan. My family loves pickles and gherkins and all that stuff. I'm honestly such a huge fan. When I was younger, my sister and I just ate all these pickles that were at this party one time. There was this bowl of them and we ate all of them because we love them. I think it runs in our family. We honestly love them so much. Let's get assembling the wraps. I don't know how well this is going to go. Oh, look how good that is on the plate. It's like we're making a pizza. I never know where to put stuff in a wrap to make it wrap properly. Oh my gosh, spinach. I can tell this is not gonna go well. I should have cut it all maybe a bit smaller. Okay, so let's just add some bits of gherkin. I sh maybe should have put it over that side. I never know. This is gonna fail. I filled it way too full. That's just not really wrapping, is it? The wrap's gonna break. Oh dear. Oh no, everything's falling. <laughs> Come on, we need it tight. Oh gosh. Oh. They're just quite small wraps, so I was a bit over ambitious with how much I put in it, and I never know how you should wrap wraps. That was a fail. Okay, we'll try again. Right, attempt number two. as if it's okay kind of i'm gonna try and cut this one not bad this one however is uh very badly wrapped so 
Yep, look at that. <laughs> well, I definitely deserve the prize for the best wrapping skills. Do not ever get me making wraps. Well, we have four little wraps on the plate, so not bad. And I even forgot to add flaxseed. Oh, oh well, just eat your gherkin. Always make sure you wipe up your mess, people. It just makes communal kitchens a lot nicer to work in, you know. See, I made this massive mess here, so I need to clean it up. I am better at making oats and smoothie bowls, not wraps. I mean, it tastes pretty good. The gherkin's so good, I should have put more gherkin in it. Not amazing, but they're okay. The wraps themselves, though, are so good. The blessed. Did you see that? I just opened. <laughs> that's my wrap. A few minutes to need to leave. That's why I've just shoved my jacket on so I can just cut this plum up and run out the door. I don't know why, but I like to cut my fruit up. I don't know if anyone can relate. It's a really good plum. I was just doing a bit of work after I'd eaten lunch while my wraps for about an hour. Five minutes early, get me. This is for CGD, the supervision. There's quite a few of us in it, I think. I've just had my lecture. It's super dark outside now, feels like midnight. It's only 6 p.m. This apple, it's really pink. Um, I'm gonna have a snack and then I'm gonna do a bit of work, then prep my dinner for later. We're still completely allergen free. I think I've been successful so far. So I'm just gonna shove some oats in my coconut bowl, put a bit of water in it, dice up this apple and make a little oat pot thing. Oat pots are like a major throwback to some of my first ever videos when I used to make oat pots with sultanas. If you watched my channel back then. Hands down, this is one of my favorite snacks. I haven't even diced this apple very well, look at that. Yes! Something so simple is often just so good and this is exactly that. I really don't think there is a day that I don't have oats. So I'm currently in the kitchen and I'm just prepping my food so that I don't have to make it all when I get back later. So I've just got veg in this pan, which is gonna come to the boil in a minute because I just added in some boiling water to speed it up a bit. Then this pan is currently empty. I'm gonna be putting rice noodles in that empty pan, noodle nests. And these are literally just rice, so very allergen friendly. And then this is what I made yesterday. It is a sweet potato lentil curry stew. I have no clue what to call this. So these noodles take three minutes because I need them to do really quickly. I need to leave in like 15 minutes. So yeah, this curry, let's say. I put in it, as I said, sweet potato, lentils, onion. The base is the tomato, chopped tomatoes. And then the key ingredient, the special ingredient is tahini. And then garlic, basil, turmeric, cumin, paprika, loads of spices, but tahini makes it so good. And yeah, I had some of it yesterday and saved the majority of it as meal prep for today. So, so then in this bowl is my veg. I'm just gonna shove the rice noodles in when they're done, shove it in my fridge and then just go to dance. I will leave this in this Tupperware for now. Made to Bali on time. so good cold water i haven't had a can in ages and it's weird it's just water from a can but it's cool okay so i can just about fit my massive bowl in my fridge so we're just gonna use my desk as a kitchen work surface now student rooms are multifunctional you know mm, this smells so good i love it when i have it the next day as well because all the flavors come out and it tastes even better. I'll see how hungry I am. I want more if I don't want any more. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Oh, this is so good. 
Cheers guys. So I completely forgot about these today. It's very relevant to this video. These are really new vegan ice creams by Eureka. So Eureka itself is a vegan dessert place in London. It does like frozen ice cream, frozen ice cream, <laughs> frozen yogurt ice cream, stuff like this. And they've brought out tubs of ice cream. There's two flavors, chocolate and salted caramel. And they're both really good. And they're free from all 14 major allergens so they've done even better than me like gluten dairy egg nut peanut and all these other ones like including celery stuff like this i'm not gonna have almond milk once i can think of that would be compatible with my day of eating today would be like rice milk i hope you've enjoyed this video anyway guys i hope it's been useful to see what you can eat if you've got a lot of allergies yeah there's loads of stuff that you could have this is just one day if you'd like me to do it again but I can definitely do that and show you some other things you can have. Anyway, thank you for watching this video, guys. If you liked it and would like to see something similar, again, please like it. Comment down below and subscribe if you're new, of course. And I'll speak to you in another video, guys.